Hi, boys and girls. I was thinking that uh, I would do a lesson for the older boys and girls that attend our church just to give you something fun to watch. So I'm going to start my lesson. It's a series called God Strong, and I'm going to do a bit of a skit. Now, to do this skit, I have to play many characters. So I'm just going to introduce you to the characters. You're going to have to know that when I change hats, I change characters. First character up is going to be the babysitter. Her name is Lily. Second character up is going to be the kid. Her name is Katie. Third character up is going to be a chef. The fourth character that I will be playing is another character called Daniel. So let's begin our skit. Here you go, Lily. A nice hot dinner. Yuck! What did you say? I said yuck. What's the matter? This is a nice healthy dinner. Look at all those yummy vegetables. It's got, <laughs> it's got vegetables. Yes, it has vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. They make you strong and healthy. I don't want any vegetables. You don't? Well, if you were going to make the menu, what would you want? Hmm, nachos and brownies. Nachos and brownies? Yeah nachos and brownies. Can't you think of a more perfect combination? Actually, that reminds me of a story about a young boy who didn't want to eat his dinner. What did he have to eat? Did he have to eat broccoli and zucchini or salad like I'm having to eat? Actually, no. His name was Daniel, and he lived in the palace of the king of Babylon, whose name was Nebuchadnezzar. And the food he did not want to eat was... On the other side of the sage, the chef enters, carrying a tray. And on the tray is nachos and browns. Nachos and brownies, come and get the, your nachos and brownies. You make you grow a big and a strong. Hi, um, I have a question. You want a more nachos and brownies? Actually, no. I was wondering if I could have something different, something besides nachos and brownies. You want a something different? Yeah. You no like our nachos and brownies? No, I wanted something everybody likes. 
like is nachos and brownies. Here you take a nacho. You take a brownie. You put on top of the nacho. Mmm, mmm. Everybody loves the nachos and brownies. Well, I was wondering if my friends and I could have something else like fruits and vegetables. Lost my hat. Fruits and vegetables, you know, eat the nachos and the brownies. I have to eat the nachos and brownies, but why? Because of the king, he says so. He does? The assistant says, the king, he likes the nachos and the brownies. I'm sure he does, but you see, we were raised in Israel. We were raised to believe our bodies were the temple of God, and we should care for them by eating better than this. What that could be better than the nachos and the brownies? How about fruits and vegetables? And maybe water instead of ginger ale? You know like uh, the ginger ale? We just want to eat something healthier. The assistant says, this is a question for the king. Hey, I am a the king. What seems to be the problem? Your Excellency, I have a request from my friends and me. We are from Israel and we would like to eat healthier food that we ate in the land instead of the food you feed everyone at the palace. What? You know, like the nachos and brownies? He no like the nachos and the brownies. Uh, wh what about the ginger ale? He no like the ginger ale. Oh, we blew it. <laughs> Everybody like the ginger ale. Everyone like the nachos and brownies. Look, see. Oh, I take a piece now. Mmm. You put it on like that, and you eat it, and everybody like the nachos and brownies. I know they do. Just give us a chance. Let us eat what we want for ten days, then test us all. Well, what happened? The king let Daniel and his friends eat the healthier meals for 10 whole days. At the end of that time, he tested Daniel and his friends against the other students. Well, well, uh, let's uh, see. Uh, on the math test, the Tacos and Brownies team, they scored a, a 89. <laughs> All right, the nachos and the brownies. <laughs> and the veggie eaters, they got the 105. What? How he get the 105? He got an extra bonus credit. Oh. Okay, okay. On the athletic test, the nachos and brownies team, they did a 92 push-ups. All right, nachos. No, oh, 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 yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
All right, nachos and brownies. <laughs> Well, well, let's just see you. On the math test, the tacos and uh, the nachos and brownies team scored a 89. All right, the nachos and brownies. And uh, the veggie eaters got the, uh, they got the uh, 105. What the, how did they get the 105? <laughs> they got the bonus credit. Oh. Okay, okay, on the athletic test, the nachos and brownies team, they did a 92 push-ups. All right, the nachos and brownies! And veggie team, they did a 89. All right, the nachos! Oh, wait, 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 he got 189. What? As the king of Babylon, I order that all of the students, they will eat of the veggies and the fruits and drink of the water, no more of the nachos and brownies. So, because of Daniel choosing to do the right thing, the students in the house of the king ate healthy food, vegetables and fruits, and drank water instead of ginger ale. As a result, the students were smarter and stronger than any that had come before, and Daniel and his friends became important men in the court. Because they ate their veggies and not their nachos and brownies. I don't believe that story. They didn't have nachos and brownies in the Bible. You know, believe the nachos and the brownies. We love the nachos and brownies. Looky here. You take a nacho. You put on a brownie. Mmm. Everybody loves the nachos and brownies! You know, Lily, suddenly, I think those veggies look pretty good. The end.